Hopefully everyone is at chapter 10, and uh, hopefully uh, you have your ultimate uh, unlabored flawlessness. Uh, for now, I'm just going to call it the UF. I'm gonna, basically, the strategy we're going to use here is use wall attacks to kill the small guys and use UTs to kill the big guys. Even at full health, you can use the strategy. So I recommend uh, in this chapter to stay at full health. I'm near full health. There's no reason to really stay at less health uh, unless you want to risk dying. Of course, when you're at um, the less health you have, uh, eventually you can even just one forward while will kill a black crab. But you know, and the, the, I find this to be safer. Make sure you use your UTs to kill the black uh, crabs. It's uh, it's pretty much wasted if you use it on the small guys. And uh, I believe two wall attacks should be enough to take care of these uh, black crabs, so make sure you use them. Now here you can get away with the UT, here I got uh, a little nervous. Um, now basically just wall attack, wall attack, and then UTs if you can. Uh, what can go wrong with this strategy is they might try and attack you as you're running up the wall. You're not invincible when you run up the wall, so um, make sure you alternate between which walls you're going in while you're running up. Now here I don't have many options, as you can see, because even though I'm trying to switch to different walls, uh, th there's just so many enemies that all of them can attack me. But you can see that despite getting hit twice, I managed to get through. Now I'm not going to edit out the parts where I'm... Uh, running around. Uh, I realize that chapter 10 can be um, a little confusing, so I'm going to keep the chapter uh, as whole as I can. Um, for this fight, they only come one at a time, so that's it's not a big deal. I'm going to show, uh, however, how you can just cheap shot them. If you go back through the entrance, you can just use da your Davy and just uh, charge a UT. And you don't need to do this, considering that they only come one at a time. And I'm just going to show you, just for the sake of showing it. Basically like that. And um, then I'm just going to head over to the next fight. Um, right now, I'm actually... Uh, I actually think that I'm wasting some time by going to this fight early. Uh, ideally, I should have gone to it when I had the red ring, um, whatever it's called. It's a key item. But anyway, go up here, and you should be able to get a Spirit of the Devils, and that, make sure you get that. I think in the other difficulties, it, ha it has something uh, useless, like a Life of the Gods, or... Well, not useless, that's not useless, but I mean like a lesser Spirit Elixir. But this is pretty important. Now, as for the kill bug fight, I'm going to leave that for now. I use that as my farming spot. Uh, you can get a lot of essence from those pill bugs, and uh, if you go down there now, you can get a... a not a spirit of the devils, uh, what is it called? The purple ore thing that uh, makes your nimpo more powerful. Right now, I don't want to upgrade my ice storm nimpo because that's pretty useless. So I'm going to save it to later. But I made sure to upgrade my Inferno to its max level. Now Inferno Nimpo is great for these black crabs. Uh, it should be able to kill them at level 3. Uh, also, Explosive Arrows work nicely too if you think you can get away with it. And you can see that fight didn't go too badly. I'm just going to head up here and uh, get the key of in Insect. Or is it Incest? I'm not sure. Alright, I'm just going to head over here and check out what's there. Now, if you trade in all your scarabs, you should be able to... Right, right now I've saved up my scarabs, so Muramasa would give me a big devil elixir, he would give me smoke bombs, and at the end of this chapter, he would also give me an Ayane Ration, which is just like a lesser spirit elixir. No, I'm not going to use. I'm not going to trade them in right now because I don't want to use any of those. 
Um, now this fight can be a bit tough. I've actually died a couple times. The strategy I'm giving is not foolproof. And I did die here a couple times despite thinking this would be pretty easy. Now, again, I want to emphasize, make sure you use your UTs on the black crabs. See, I'm using it on the small guys, and that's stupid of me. I should be using it on these guys, where the UTs are necessary. Okay, now, um, for this next fight, you can go to Muramasa's and upgrade your Davi, but I'm just going to go here and just use my UF. Uh, I don't have much health, so I think it'll be good to use this on him. Now for here, you just want to stay to this corner, go forward. Okay, see what happened there is I rolled to the side. Um, basically, roll forward and then forward Y. When he does this, roll forward, forward Y. So, you know, it was pretty, maybe a good thing that he hit me so that I could get back to low health. Again, if you have the dabby, uh, just use the X combo, the X string combo for about the Y at the end. Uh, don't forget your scare up up here. So if you're at full health, use the dabby, and then if he manages to hit you, switch to the UF. Now I'm just going to head over here and get the items. The first worm is not bad, the second worms are a little tougher, mainly because they can start shooting their, they can both start shooting their electric balls at you. So if you dodge one, you might fall into the other, the other's attack. Um, in my opinion, that's a little cheap. But, you know, you can use Mimpo to negate that. And uh, don't forget to use the, get the Life of Gods up here. Now there's a fight with uh, the small guy, uh, Imps up here. Uh, I'm going to skip it till later, because... Now here I upgraded the, oh I didn't upgrade, I equipped the Lunar and I'm, I'm just going to use this for variety's sake. You can just run up walls and spam wall attacks, but here I wanted to experiment a bit to see whether um, my favorite strategy actually held up well. Uh, so far so good. Again, sometimes I can hit you if it's, like, because I will manage, I will beat this fight. It's a little tough, I guess, you know, they, I've actually had trouble wall attacking them here. They don't like to fall into it for some reason. And this strategy works pretty well, actually, you know, just the way the area is formed. And sometimes I miss my own landing. But I, I'm managing. And you can see it's, st it's still holding up well, the f on landing Y strat. I was hoping for some blue essence, but they're not being cooperative. And there you go, pretty easy. No, I don't suggest you need using a lunar when there's going to be some black crabs around. That's going to... Uh, the unlabored flawlessness is the best weapon for them.